Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video, we're gonna go through the bass transition challenge, which basically means that we're gonna take a bass transition and just one chord and see how much music we can make out of those two properties. Okay, just A5 and the bass transition we can use into A5, from A to A. So, um, what do I mean by this? I mean that depending on your rhythm, you can create as many transitions as you possibly want. Um, you can change the rhythm between the notes, you can change the note length, you can change the expression, the dynamics. Uh, let me show you what I mean. You can start simple. You can add chromatics. Okay? The challenge here is to find as many musical and melodic applications around the same notes into the same chord. And we're using the exact same chord because changing chords would add to the music and I want to confine us to one chord because that's the challenge. How much music can you make with one chord using only a bass transition? So you can use zero, two, three on the fifth string. You can use zero and two on the fourth string. You can use zero and two on the third. Okay, you can use one on the fourth string okay, as a transition. Okay, one zero, one two. You can um, do a full chromatic. Okay, you can do four three two one, maybe zero as well. Okay, on the fourth string, as well uh, as long as you can connect it, you know, to the next chord and make music out of it. Um, I'm pulling off. Four, three, two, then sliding down to one, then pulling off to zero. Okay, instead of just a full four finger uh, pull off. Um, you can use one on the fifth string. Okay, um, just another chromatic move. You can uh, use one on the third string if you like. Okay, as long as you can make music out of it. Again, so how do you make music out of it? I gave you the answer already. You play around with the rhythm, okay? Hey, you express the chord any way you like. Okay? And I'm focusing on a motif here. I'm focusing on a certain rhythmical motif and I just, you know, superimpose the, the notes on the motif and the secret here, if it is a secret, it's not a secret, but the secret sauce to this whole thing, what gives it the whole flavor is the fact that I'm variating slightly around the rhythm. I'm, I'm using the same rhythm pattern most of the time, but I'm changing the notes that I'm putting on the rhythm. Okay, so um, I might be playing I might be playing okay, the, the fifth string. I might be playing just one, uh, two, and zero on the fourth string. And um, I haven't used the one on the fifth uh, yet, so let's try that. See? You can... Um, toy around with the open fourth and fifth strings and just alternate between them. Okay, and change between the first and second frets um, randomly. And as long as you have a rhythm, it'll fit in. See, a um, little bit metal that, that was. Um, and um, you can, you can slide the chord. 
you can pull off the chord, you can try different rhythmic patterns with the chord itself. You can jump between the, the strings. It, it's, you know, it's legit. Okay, on the first fret. You, uh, on the first and second. Okay, you can do uh, one on the third, two on the fifth, one on the fourth, three on the fifth. You know, just try different combinations of fret numbers. You don't even have to think about the music, again, because if you have a sense of rhythm, if you're, you, you know, just uh, imposing a rhythm onto the whole thing, then um, it doesn't matter which notes you pick. That's, that's what I'm trying to show you here, basically. <laughs> Okay, uh, you can do the same uh, move on strings 3, 4, and 5. And, uh, okay, if you stumble, or fumble, or grumble, or whatever ends with umble, just continue, just make sure that you have a continuous rhythm. Also have three, the third fret, if you like. Um, uh, even though I don't know, doesn't kind of, that doesn't really fit the motif that I'm trying to build here, because again, I want to confine this, not expand this. Um, but you can use three on the fourth string every now and then, if you like. Um, So do um, you know a double stop on both the third and fourth strings on one? Yeah, it also works. You can also do one and two for a moment there, just to skew things a little bit. You can do two and one, and then end on a bass note. Um, uh, the options here, even though it's just a small collection of notes, the options depend on your creativity. And this is the crux of the exercise. So you take this, practice it on your own, I promise you, it'll be worth it. You don't believe how many options there are using only a small amount of notes. So that's the challenge. Take it or leave it. So, uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye. Thanks for watching.